The biophilia hypothesis, or BED, proposes that humans have a deep-rooted inclination to relate with nature and all living forms, introduced and widely recognized through Edward Wood. Wilson's book, Biophilia, 1984, the theory suggests our need to be affiliated with life in various forms is inherent initially coined by Eric, from biophilia, embodies a psychological disposition towards whatever exudes vitality in life. Wilson further shapes Fromm's concept by linking biophilia with our subconscious yearning for life and our interaction with it. The profound ties we have with nature and entire life forms, he suggests, can be traced back to human biology. Along with the usually positive affiliations with natural entities, our associations with artificial objects substantiate the existence of biophilia. Though Fromm introduced the term, the idea of biophilia isn't entirely new. It's been suggested and redefined several times throughout history. Aristotle, a noteworthy proponent among many others, suggested a concept adequately summarized as love of life, expounding upon philia or friendship and the advantageous reciprocal nature of such relationships. The argument of biophilia has evolved within theories of evolutionary psychology since its proposed inception, suggesting that our inclination towards life and nature stems from our origins in rich natural settings. Even after transitioning to urban lifestyles, our ancient predilections persist as we instinctively align ourselves with the natural world. For our ancestors, a stronger bond with nature often equated to a superior survival strategy, since extensive knowledge of the environment implied easier access to basic necessities. Modern research also postulates that our contemporary urban lifestyles might not harmonize with minds evolutionary wired for natural settings. The theory offers that our inclinations towards nature, even though honed by experience and culture, might be a product of biological evolution, for instance. We typically find neonate mammalian faces more appealing across species due to noticeable features the biophilia hypothesis explains that. Ordinary humans penchant for nurturing domestic and wild animals, along with surrounding their dwellings with flora. In the collection Children and Nature, Psychological, sociocultural, and evolutionary investigations by Peter Kahn and Stephen Keller, it is stressed how nurturing relationships with animals are particularly crucial during early and middle childhood. Furthermore, such interactions can be therapeutically beneficial for children with autistic spectrum disorders. Medical studies have observed that the healing process of hospital patients can be expedited through the presence of plants, either outside their windows or in their rooms. With technological advancements leading to a disconnect from nature due to majority of our time spent indoors or in transport, the human desire to reconnect with nature has intensified, making engagement in biophilic activities invaluable as it helps strengthen our bond with the natural world. Neglecting this bond could potentially drive further degradation of our ecosystems and eventually animal extinction. The field of conservation has thus emphasized the need to rekindle our relationship with nature with interventions such as creating more green spaces within cities, incorporating nature, focus themes in education, and promoting greener urban designs such as biophilic cities where ecosystems are. Integrated within city aspects, such cities can serve as wildlife corridors, aiding the migrational and territorial activities of animals. Canadian author Hilary Sharper beautifully encapsulated E.O. Wilson's idea of biophilia in her eco-gothic novel Perdita, through a mythological entity who represents biophilia, symbolizing humanity's longing to connect with nature. American philosopher Francis Sanzaro builds upon this concept, asserting that our technologically driven society, particularly with the Internet of Things, IOT, illustrates the biophilia hypothesis he proposes that we seek intimacy with nature through technology, suggesting it is not an opposing entity to nature, but another avenue to explore that connection.